Welcome to the Healthy Newsworks Spotlight. I'm Ladera, HNW Spotlight News Anchor. Today we have a special report on heart health and cholesterol. Cholesterol is a type of fat found in foods such as cheese, meats, eggs, and whole milk, according to kidshealth.org. People need some cholesterol for good health, but too much can harm their hearts. It can build up in the blood and stick to blood vessel walls. To get the story on cholesterol, we return to our news correspondent, Rebecca, from the Eisenhower Healthy Panther. Rebecca will find out how to lower cholesterol levels in the blood and reduce the chance of getting heart disease. Now to you, Rebecca. Thank you, Ladera. I am at Eisenhower Science and Technology Leadership Academy, speaking with Dr. Walter Sue, past president of the American Public Health Association, to learn about cholesterol. What causes cholesterol to build up in a person's blood? Well, Rebecca, re cholesterol is something that can happen uh, because the body makes cholesterol, but it's also something that we can do something about because when we eat fatty foods or foods that are not nutritious or we don't exercise enough, we can increase the amount of cholesterol in our bloodstream. Why is too much cholesterol bad for the health? Well, you know, the lining of your arteries, that's the blood supply that goes to your heart, uh, that actually has to stay open, make sure the blood goes through. But if there's too much cholesterol in your bloodstream, that cholesterol can actually deposit along the lining of those arteries. And eventually, over many, many years, that, uh, na that can actually narrow the artery itself and make it more difficult for the bloodstream to get to the heart. And then you can have something serious happen, like chest pain or possibly even a heart attack. I thought high cholesterol is just a problem for older people. Why should kids care? Well, kids sh should worry about this because the habits that you learn when you're a kid can actually have a lifelong consequence in your ability to control cholesterol. And the two most important things you can learn when you're young are one, good nutrition, so eating more fruits and vegetables, and trying to avoid a lot of fatty type foods that often you get with red meats, or also a lot of junk food has a lot of fatty uh, contents to them. You can try to eat less of that. And the other thing that you can do is to exercise a lot more. And when you exercise and you learn a lifelong habit when you're a kid of exercising, you can actually help reduce the amount of cholesterol in your body. Very interesting. How do you know if you have high cholesterol? Well, this one is a lot more difficult. You have to actually go to your healthcare provider, your doctor, and they can take a blood test and they can measure your cholesterol. Do you have suggestions so children can keep their cholesterol levels in the blood healthy? Well, my major suggestions, again, is good eating, and good exercising. Those are the things that you can do. Uh, if your cholesterol level is really high and uh, you see your doctor about that, they can make other recommendations. Sometimes uh, when you're older, they might recommend that you take some medicines to help control your cholesterol. But when you're young, the most important things, again, is diet and exercise. Thank you, Dr. Sue, for your important information. You're welcome. Back to you, Ladera. Thank you, Rebecca, for giving our viewers the scoop on cholesterol. We now have a better understanding of why it's important to be aware of cholesterol when choosing foods. This is Ladera with your Healthy News Work Spotlight, wishing you a good afternoon.